here's an idea for you. Can we move our entire planet? Our Earth is already moving by itself, and in three ways at once. It rotates around its axis, around the sun, and even rushes through space at an enormous speed, along with the entire solar system. But can we as humans do something to shift the movement of our planet? For example, what if we all run or jump at the same time? Well, let's see. Imagine if every person in the world, from every corner of the globe, decided to jump simultaneously. Sounds fun, right? You might think, wow, that's a lot of people. We could definitely make a difference. Maybe we could cause earthquakes, or even be able to make some impact on the entire planet. But unfortunately, that's not the case. In reality, with an incredible burst of energy, the Earth feels a gentle nudge, as if being tickled by the collective enthusiasm of humanity. Yep, that's right. Billions of people, and it's like the planet has been given just a playful pat on the back. Why is that? Here's where science kicks in. Let's do the math. The Earth's mass is around 1.3 times 10 to the 25th pounds. The average weight of a person is around 136 pounds. So if we consider that there are approximately 8 billion people on Earth, the total mass of all humans combined would be about a trillion pounds. This number has 12 zeros in it, so it's about half the Earth's mass. The impact must be massive, right? Nope. You see, while the mass of humanity may seem significant to us, it's actually quite small, even compared to natural phenomena like weather patterns and ocean currents. Ocean currents and tides, which are driven by the gravitational forces of the moon and the sun, have a much greater mass and gravitational pull than all humans on Earth. They can move vast amounts of water. The Gulf Stream alone is carrying about 30 to 150 million tons per second. And that's just one ocean current. Even the atmosphere of the Earth weighs much more than us. It's a number with 18 zeros. Don't forget that the atmosphere is also constantly in motion due to things like solar radiation, temperature differences, and the Earth's rotation. So, as you can see, even 8 billion of us is like a feather to the Earth. So, what happens when we all jump at the same time? According to physicists, the impact of our jumps, which seemed so powerful individually, actually cancel each other out on a grand scale. As we soar upwards, the Earth beneath us feels a push, but that push is counteracted by all the other jumps happening at the same time. So, in the end, the planet's solid and sturdy surface absorbs our jumps with ease and feels nothing. It's like giving a giant rubber ball a teeny tiny poke. Well, the planet may giggle a little, causing a tiny ripple or vibration, but it quickly settles back to its regular state, unperturbed. All right, let's leave the fantasies about how we all jump at once. But there has to be a way for us to move an entire planet, right? For example, what if all humans suddenly started running? Let's imagine that we all decided to run in the same direction at the same time. Would we be able to make some impact on the planet's rotation or orbit? Yeah, unfortunately, no. We still don't have enough mass. Even if we were all sprinting at the same time, our collective force would be tiny compared to the Earth's gravitational pull. Although, this isn't the only reason. The concept of angular momentum comes into play here as well. Imagine you're spinning around in a chair. Have you ever noticed that when you pull your arms in, you start spinning faster, and when you stretch them out, you slow down? That's because of the angular momentum. It's a way to describe how things rotate. It depends on two factors. How hard it is to start rotating, 
and how fast it's spinning. When you multiply these two together, you get the object's angular momentum. Now, let's think about the Earth. It's a massive spinning ball, so it has a lot of angular momentum. This is because it's big, and it rotates pretty fast. But here's the cool part. Angular momentum wants to stay the same, unless something acts on it. It's like a cosmic rule. This is known as the conservation of angular momentum. So, the Earth's total angular momentum stays constant, unless there's an external force acting on it. And no, we're not that force. Our marathon, as enthusiastic as it may be, wouldn't have a significant impact on the Earth's overall rotation because we are part of the Earth itself. We're talking about something big and external here, like a huge asteroid or a dwarf planet crashing into us or something. But come on, there must be a way for us to move the planet. Well, in order to do that, we would need to apply a force that is greater than the gravitational force holding the Earth in place. And we definitely can't do that while standing on the planet. Even if every single person on Earth worked together to try and move the Earth, we would be hopelessly outmatched by its sheer size and mass. So this ambitious idea would require an enormous amount of resources and technology to accomplish. First and foremost, we would need to have access to a huge amount of energy. We would need a source of immense amount of force, and this force would need to be sustained over a very long period of time. Perhaps we could generate this energy through the use of advanced propulsion systems, like that sci-fi stuff that's typically used to propel spacecraft in books and movies. However, even with the most advanced propulsion systems, it would still be incredibly difficult. Or, for example, we might be able to construct enormous engines or thrusters that could be used to push or pull a planet in a certain direction. Making something like that is impossible for us now, but who knows what will happen in the future. So now, let's imagine for a moment that we somehow did have the strength to do that. We managed to move the planet, or even give it a mighty shake. Buckle up, because things are about to get crazy. The ground beneath your feet begins to tremble and jiggle like a plate of gelatin at a dessert buffet. As these powerful shakes reverberate through the Earth, energy ripples out in all directions. Seismic waves travel through the layers of our planet, causing the ground to ripple and rumble like a roller coaster. These shakes would trigger a chain reaction of quakes and tremors, as if the Earth itself is doing a lively dance. Seismic waves would race across the globe, reaching faraway places and giving tectonic plates a jolt. The Earth's surface would crack and split, creating rifts and fissures in the land. Mountains would tremble and valleys widen as the Earth adjusts to the vibrations coursing through its core the entire continents might change their positions. Buildings, bridges, and structures of all kinds would be put to the ultimate test. Their foundations would quiver, walls would sway, everything would collapse and be destroyed. Our little shakeup could also unleash the wrath of mighty tsunamis. Massive amounts of water would be displaced, forming colossal waves that would charge across the oceans with a thunderous roar. Volcanoes might awaken from their slumber. Their eruptions would paint the skies with ash and molten lava, adding a touch of drama to our already shaken world. They could release massive plumes of dust and ash, casting a shadow over the skies and affecting air quality. So, even a little shake, or a little extra movement of our planet, would disrupt the very fabric of ecosystems. Animal habitats would crumble, migration patterns would be thrown into disarray, and the intricate balance of nature would tremble, putting countless species at risk. The consequences would be catastrophic. So, all this effort 
was basically for nothing. Let's just leave our beautiful blue planet the way it is and appreciate its perfect movement. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.